Hi guys, Squirrel here, and today I've got something exciting to talk about. I've been working on a project for months and I can finally reveal it to you. Starting tomorrow, yes, that's right, tomorrow, and every day for the rest of this week, I'll be releasing a special video. Now, these videos are VR 180 videos, and I'll explain more what that means in a second. But first, you might be wondering what these are about. In each video, I'm going to take you with me on an immersive experience in a different part of the UK. In the first video, I'll be driving a Porsche GT3 RS race car around Silverstone Circuit, the iconic British racetrack. I never thought I'd be doing anything as cool as that, and yes, it's as cool as it sounds. In the second, we'll head west to Shropshire to see the world's first major cast iron bridge, aptly titled the Iron Bridge. It was built in the late 1700s, and it's a really cool piece of industrial history. In the third, we'll be heading southeast to the Epping Ongar Railway, where we'll be operating the Class 47 diesel electric locomotive on the line. It's another great piece of history and one that the train sim fans won't want to miss. For the fourth and final video, we're going north to Scotland to drive a real working tractor on a real working farm. This last one will be in first person for an extra layer of immersion. It's a very unique experience. So, that all sounds exciting, but that leaves one question. What is VR180? Well, it's a pretty new video format, so chances are you haven't heard of it before. But it's all in the name. The 180 means you're free to look around anywhere in the scene in 180 degrees of freedom. It's kind of like a 360 degree video cut in half. And the reason it's more restrictive than a 360 degree video is because of the other part of the name, VR or virtual reality. These videos are filmed with two lenses instead of one, mimicking how our eyes work in the real world. So if you're watching on a VR headset or a Google Cardboard, you'll get the full 3D stereoscopic effect, making you feel like you're really there. Now, if you don't have a VR headset, don't worry. You can still watch these videos on a phone, tablet, PC or laptop, just like any other video but with the added benefit that you can still look around the train, tractor or sports car. You won't get the same 3D effect, but you'll still get a cool immersive experience. All right, before I show you how to view these videos, I thought you might like to take a quick look at the hardware and learn a bit about how these videos are made. There are quite a few VR180 cameras on the market and here are two of them. You can see here just how crazy these fisheye lenses have to be in order to capture all of that information. You can also see what I mean when I say that these lenses mimic your eyes. Each lens records a different image that we stitch together in post and the different angle they get represents the different view that each eye sees when we look at an object, for example, our thumb. That is what creates the 3D effect. These cameras are cool, but they can be very difficult to work with. Remember, they see everything in front of them, so if you happen to have even so much as a foot nearby, it will appear in the video. And rigging these cameras inside of vehicles, oh man. The number of hours I have spent cramped inside of a cockpit trying to rig a rod and clamp it to anything I can to secure the camera. But that's for another day. By the way, if you'd like to see a more in-depth video on how we make VR180 videos, leave a comment below. So, how do you view these videos? Well, as I said earlier, you can still watch them on a PC or mobile device, just like normal. On the PC or laptop, the image will start in the center like this. First thing I recommend doing is clicking on the image quality and choosing the highest possible resolution. That will make sure that you get the sharpest image. Then you can use the WASD keys to look around, or you can use the mouse and click and drag. On a phone or tablet like these, you can do something similar. By tapping and dragging with your finger, you can look around the scene. But I find it's more natural if you move the device around. That way, it feels like you're the one holding the camera. If you'd like to try out the 3D effect but don't have a VR headset, 
then a Google Cardboard is an affordable alternative. You can order them online, or if you're feeling crafty, you can even make one yourself. All you need to do is fold this flat back, like so, get your phone, pop it in the back, close the lid, and then you simply hold it up to your eyes and look around the video. Before you put the phone inside the Google Cardboard, make sure you tap the video and click on the little VR headset icon on the bottom right there. That makes sure that the video plays correctly with an image into each eye. And remember, set the quality to the highest it can be. Otherwise, the image quality will be really blurry. Finally, if you have access to a VR headset of any kind, maybe your friend has one or maybe you bought one for gaming, it's definitely worth a shot. It's my favorite way of watching a VR 180 video. Okay, that just about does it for this one. Now this has been my biggest and most challenging video production ever and I'm really excited for you to see them. If you do enjoy them and maybe if you share them with friends and family, hopefully we can make some more. I have loads of ideas for videos to make. Remember, the Porsche video comes out tomorrow, the Iron Bridge video on Friday, the Class 47 on Saturday, and the tractor video on Sunday. I hope you get to watch them all and let me know what you think. Take care, guys.